Hello everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. So we are doing another Jet Engine Dynamic Visibility mini series video here. So in today's video, I like to show you how to hide empty sections if there's no recent viewed items. So I created this uh, mini product page uh, selling helmets here, the bike helmets, and uh, with crock block. So you can use uh, WP store data module and you can show the recent viewed items like this. So for example, uh, if I look at the, this pink helmet, all right, so, and I just gotta go back and hit the refresh. And then now if you look at it, so there's a pink one right here, all right? Now, so another window here, I'm gonna open up uh, using a private window or incognito window, so a new private window here. Okay, so this is incognito, incognito window, so or private window here. So as you see, so there is no viewed item, so I can hide. Uh, let me just uh, put this side by side. So on the left side side is private window, and on the right hand side is uh, just um, the window I, I was using. So you see uh, right here, viewed recent view items, but on the left hand side, because there is no data, so data is empty, and I can uh, hide entire section here. So this is one of the greatest Jetta NG dynamic visibility feature for Elementor. As you see here, so you can read this. So in today's video, let me show you how to do this. So in order to make recent viewed uh, section works, first of all, you have to go to uh, Jetta Engine and then uh, so yeah, go to Jetta Engine here. And then make sure this, uh, you hit the module here, and make sure this data stores, um, you have to turn this on. So you have to enable this section, all right? And the next one is then uh, you will see this tab, data stores. So click that. Now, I already created the recent viewed, and I can take, yeah, let's take a look at it. So you have to put the name here. So in my case, I put the recent viewed, and then so this is just a slug. And then store type, I use cookies. And uh, let's just scroll down here. And then store item on view, so turn this on. So in my case, uh, watch for post type. Uh, my case is uh, product because I'm using a WooCommerce uh, to display those helmets product. So I'm using product, but if you're using different custom post type, uh, you can pick uh, others as well and then just to go hit save okay and the next step is go to listings and then here i have this uh, helmet products here as a listing so let's take a look at it i've already created so edit with elementor and then uh, let's take a look at inside here so this is uh, just a simple layout for listing for the products so i'll show you quickly right here settings and then here uh, I'm using post, and then from post type is uh, product, right? Because I'm using WooCommerce. And then this is just a custom image. Uh, what's that inside? So yeah, just a post thumbnail. And then this is just a post, uh, post term user object data. And then this is, uh, I suspect, yeah, it's just title. And this is just pulling the data from uh, uh, post term user and then this is just the price HTML string all right so it's just a simple just three elements here all right so now let's go back to uh, uh, just dashboard and then go to pages and I have a helm product page I'm gonna open with Elementor so this is just a list of the product helmet and then using just the product grid here. Yeah, I'm gonna show you, I think there's uh yeah, so product grid. So this is the widget. So I'm using right here. Now on the bottom here, uh, see that uh, the, um, your recent viewed items. So I'm using uh, this one is listing grid. So which is, so this one, so different from product grid. Okay, and then so let's take a quick look here. 
and then listing is this helmet product that I just created I uh, showed up to you earlier and then just the three columns so in order to display the recent viewed items go to um, post query and then here choose post and author parameters all right and then so that the status is going to be published and the post by any author that's okay and right here get post from store called the recent viewed so if you remember earlier uh, we created um, so go to jet engine and then here data store so remember that so we created created this uh, recent viewed all right so and then so now you should see uh, get the post from store you should see recent recently viewed so just uh, select that and they should show uh, this these items all right so let's uh, take a quick look so it looks fine all right oh by the way so i like this kind of sliding effect so go to if you like that effect as well so go to um, a slider on the bottom here so if you disable yeah it looks like this and I like to kind of save the space so that's why I like to kind of uh, use uh, enabling uh, uh, slider I like just to looks cleaner or less space so let's open up uh, uh, incognito window here and then now as you see so the problem here is so if there's no data you still see that your recent view items says no data was found all right now there is actually a setting uh, so widget visibility here you can just say you will query like um, hide widget if query is empty so let me just show that to you I hit update and then let's uh, open up uh, incognito window and then let's kind of uh, let's uh, refresh so it is actually hidden but you still see this your currently viewed items right so what i want to do is i like to hide entire section which is this this blue part part here oops so this entire section that's what i want to achieve today and i think you guys are agree to that so i'm going to just go back to uh, this so to do so i have to set up a query builder so let's go to a dashboard go to jet engine and then right here you see query builder okay so click that so let's uh, add a new and I'm gonna just call it to uh, recent recently viewed section and then query type it's gonna be post query and uh, post type uh, I'm going to pick uh, product right so because I'm using WooCommerce product and then post status uh, has to be published and the next one is go to post and page okay and then post in so you have to look for get store okay get store so once again remember I used that data store module and I created a recent recently viewed uh, earlier, right? So, and then should say, here we go. So the recent viewed. So you see that? And hit apply. And hit add query. Okay, I think that's good. And let's go back to uh, this helmet product page. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, refresh before I'm gonna just hit update and refresh this page. Okay, now scroll down to uh, recently viewed items here. And then once again, I would like to hide entire section here, right? So this blue section. So I'm gonna go to uh, right click and the edit section. Now go to advance and you see dynamic visibility. 
All right, so I would like to enable this. And then, so I'm using a show element if condition met. Okay, and the condition query has items. So right here, okay? So you're gonna pick that. And the query to check. So select the query. So you see the recent view section, which I just created, right? So select that and hit update. Now let's take a look, just uh, go to open uh, view page. So of course, uh, it's here. So let's uh, switch back to our private window, which is right here. And I'm gonna just, uh, so remember this, so this is still showing. So let's refresh this. So now it's gone. All right, so let's see, I'm gonna just uh, click this view, all right. And then just go back. And then this one too, let's click that. All right, so one more, maybe just a yellow helmet. All right, so let's go back. And then let's uh, to refresh this page. And then uh, you just see some uh, recently viewed items here. So I'm gonna put uh, two windows side by side. On the left-hand side has a data in it. So recently viewed, uh, it's a data on the section. On the right-hand side is there is the data is empty. So as you see, uh, hiding completely uh, entire section uh, gives you much cleaner view and it gives you a better user uh, interface uh, in my view. So I hope this helps and see you next time.